What's up, guys? Jun here. Jay here. Today, we are going to talk about the UK. Alright. <laughs> so, today is our first video, so excuse us if we're you know, a bit awkward, not that great, and kind of rough. <laughs> I got things up. Yeah, it's true. Now, um, <clears throat> I will do a quick sketch of the uh, Union Jack. The British flag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Comprises of three different flags. Mm -hmm. Scotland, mm -hmm. England, and Northern Ireland. Now, here you go. Now, you may be thinking, Jim, whoa, why are you so good at drawing? Jesus, yes, you are, baby. Hey, Star. Results day is yet to come, my friend. I'll find out next week. Mm. Dear, oh dear. Please, talk through the, <clears throat> the UK flag uh, for us, Jay. So, first, you get the blue background and white cross. Right. Flag. The plus sign, that's Down a here. Scottish oh. flag. Scottish flag. Plus well, from Bam. Scotland. Then you get- Where's me haggis? Sorry. Go to Scotland for that. <clears throat> then you get the English flag. Another cross, red cross. Down here. See there? Oh. Bam. Oh, tea and scones. <laughs> <laughs> then you get the Nor Northern Ireland flag. Red cross. See there? Bam. And you may be wondering, where the hell is Wales? Where the hell is Wales? Where the hell is Wales, hell is Wales? on the flag? Where the, where, They'll actually be the, unique. What? So, the Welsh flag. It's a f***ing dragon. dragon. Why is it's there a f***ing dragon? Okay, no, I don't know why it's a dragon. Ooh, wait. I don't see a dragon on that flag, Jay. Oh dear. Where's, where's Wales on the Union Jack? Jack's is like, we love Wales. <laughs> we all love Wales. We love Wales. Uh, now that is the flag of the UK. W food. 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 I love me some food, boy. Everyone loves a bit of food. Who doesn't love a bit of food? I don't like a bit of food. What did I just say? Everyone loves a bit of food. Everyone loves food. Food. So, let's head it here first. Traditional British food. Uh, what do you get, June? Well, name, name three. Okay, okay. Wait. Down below in the comment section, please uh, comment three famous uh, traditional dishes from the UK. I'll, I'll give you 10 seconds, how's that? <laughs> now, now, I will bet almost 100% that uh, you guys have written down Fish and chips! Ah! Did I get you? I got you, I didn't I? So, fish and chips! Fish and chips is very popular in the UK, so... Almost every high street you go to, you'll have a you... fish and chip shop. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, these days everyone's <coughs> like, oh, let's get some pizza, let's get a cheeky Nando's. But, you know, sometimes you just you can't resist a bit of fish and chips, can you? Do you need that fish? I prefer a fish and chip shop chip more than a McDonald's <laughs> chip. True. <laughs> <coughs> some fish and chip shops actually uh, sell their pie as well, I do believe. Yeah, a bit of cottage pie maybe, shepherd's pie. Oh. Not, not too sure about that, I haven't been to one in a while. No, I don't think they sell cottage or shepherd pie, but we can actually talk about cottage pie and shepherd pie. Now, Jay, what is the main difference between a cottage pie and a shepherd's pie? Cottage pie <laughs> contains beef and a shepherd's pie contains lamb. And what do you know? Now, never knew that, June. Did you now, know? now I learned something new. The more you know. Um, so something quite uh, unique about cottage and shepherd pie is that you don't, for you don't really use pastry, do you? Not really. What do you use, Jim? I believe you use mashed potato. 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 Okay. One final dish <coughs> we're we'll talking about is what is it, Jim? Roast dinner. Every Sunday, or well, I don't have it because you know I'm I'm actually quite Korean. So, so we I have don't a bit have of rice and what do you have? Kimchi, kimchi. bit of soup, bit, bit of fermented beans, 
Ooh, it sounds lovely, doesn't it? Very nice. But I believe that a lot of uh, British people actually enjoy having roast dinner on yeah, the Sunday, Sunday roast. Yeah. With uh, they call over family like grandma, granddad, and then they'll be like, "Ooh, would you like a bit of roast dinner?" They'll be like, "Yes, please." Woo! Woo! And you know, it brings the family together. The moment when the dad gets the knife and he's like. Carving the meat like, oh, you lost real nice and juicy that beef, and then you know the whole family can enjoy a nice little yeah little for beef. yeah for roast you get typical meats of uh, for roasting like joints of beef, pork, lamb, and I think it was chicken, chicken, oh, a bit of chicken, cheeky chicken. chicken. Sometimes you can get turkey, gammon, goose, duck. Goose. You well, might as well have a bit of zebra as well, though, no? Yeah. Why well, not? That was funny. Yeah. I'm funny. Well, well with God. these meats, you also, you also get served with roast vegetables. You know what they include, June? I know they like a bit of carrot. You know? Vitamin A for your eyes, you know, you can be like, ooh, ooh seeing in the ooh, dark. Ooh, 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 it's pitch black. Ooh, I can see it because I ate my carrots. Ooh. Okay, June. You also get a bit of. Do you know? Um. Roast potatoes. Roast potatoes. The, per, for me, the best bit in the dish. Very good. Just behind stuffing. Stuffing. <laughs> they also like um, stuffing as well. And, That's uh, true, very nice. What, what's your favourite bit in a roast dinner? To be fair, mine is stuffing too, but if I had to choose another one, I would say... The meat. Oh yeah, actually. Probably the meat's number one. You can't resist the meat. All that protein. Gaining a bit of protein. I got none. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, parsnips. Parsnips are good. Parsnips are very nice. Yeah, and don't forget the gravy. Ooh, don't forget that gravy. Oh, that beef gravy. gravy. Worth of gravy on top. A bit of cranberry sauce on the side. Sauce with mint I'm not sauce. Really a sauce guy. I like the natural flavors. Natural you know? flavors. Ooh. But you know, a lot but of you know, British like people like to compliment their food with sauces. Mm -hmm. You can also get Yorkshire puddings on the side. Mm -hmm. What are Yorkshire puddings, June? They're like cups. They're puffy, well, gravy. puffy piece of pastry that people generally fill out with gravy. In the morning? What do you eat, June? Actually, depends, but usually a bit of rice, a bit, bit of kimchi, a bit, bit of fermented beans. I'll go, I'll go for a, a bit of Lovely. A western style of toast, Ooh. cereal, Ooh. <laughs> a bit of frosties, Ooh. Cheerios. Ooh. Turn what do you down, eat? Jay, turn down. It's too much. Now, tell, so me, first, tell me what they yeah. have. So first, you have sausages. Then you can also have eggs, you scrambled, you scrambled, poached. <laughs> scrambled. <laughs> scrambled eggs, poached eggs. <laughs> Fried or just eggs. fried eggs. You can have baked beans meat. on the side. Yeah. Very nice. A bit of mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms. Oh, a bit of shroom. A tomato on the side, maybe. A raw tomato? Nah. From the oven. From the oven. Oven. Do you grow your tomatoes in the oven? <laughs> wow. You grow them in the Roast oven. Tomatoes. Roast tomatoes. Last but not least, you have your bacon. Biakan man. Biakan. Hash browns. Oh yeah, don't, never forget the hash browns. Some people decide to have it with toast on the side. That's a good point. Some good, some good people toast. have it with fried toast. Fried toast, not not very good for your health, but people still decide to have it. Bit of chips, oh, oh. bit yeah. of fish. No, bit not, of not in this June. Sauce. Not in this June. Pickled eggs? No. Not in this June. No, no. Not for English breakfast. Here you go. There you have uh, an English, English breakfast. breakfast. Now, uh, school dinners. Oh, they can be horrible sometimes. You can say that again. They can be horrible you sometimes. You can say that again. What's your, what's your favourite dish at school then, in your canteen? Do you have any? It has to be burger and chips. Burger. I guess, you? I, yeah, I guess mine has to be maybe those Fridays with fish and chips. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fish and chips Friday. Fish and chips, just a bit traditional food. Comment down below if your school also has fish and chips on a Friday because 
I know quite a lot of schools like to have fish and chips on Friday. That's true. I, th- I believe it's a bit of a tradition in yeah, schools. Yeah, yeah. Really. So, um, let us know. Yeah, and what your favourite um, school f- school dishes are and the worst. Mm-hmm. Comment below. Worst. Oh, we haven't talked about worst, Jay. Oh, the worst. What's the worst dish you've ever had? The worst. Uh, let's see. Maybe a bit of cottage pie made by the school, just a bit of slop. Oh, that's bad. Not very good. How about you, June? Pizza's usually always available. That's true. So um, if if the main meal's bad, mm-hmm. we can just get the pizza. And uh, the pizza, you know, usually you see pizza and you're like, hey, it's pizza. You can't go wrong with pizza. Is there anything wrong with that pizza at school then, June? So say, say this is a plate. I've got my little slice of pizza. It's not really little. It's the size of a plate, but use your imagination. I've got some pizza. Pick it up. Because you know, yeah. this is how you usually mm-hmm. eat it. Then I I tilt it. Grease just drips down Oof. onto the plate. And before you know it, before you can say Bob's your uncle, huddle of grease on your plate. Ooh, not nice. It's so pretty not grim, great. but you know, I can't really complain when there are people who are starving in uh, poor countries. Can mm. So we are lucky to have puddles of grease, aren't we? Yes. Eat that much, bro? You gotta say, it's still food. You gotta have your food. And we're back! What now, about now, Jim? How about a bit of sports? Sport? Everyone loves a bit of sport, you know? What in particular? I was thinking, you know, like, the Quidditch. No. Quidditch, yeah? I think the most popular sport in, I would say, the world at the moment. Probably the world, yeah. Correct. Soccer ball. Soccer ball? What's soccer ball here? <laughs> Hand egg, hand egg, egg, hand egg. That's rugby. Oh, no, that's rugby. Oh, football. That's oh, yeah, football. That's what there it we is. go, lads. That's what it is. Now, <clears throat> what club do you support, Jay? Personally, I support a bit of Man U. Me too. Another popular sport, rugby. Mm. <laughs> rugby World Cup coming up soon. Oh, took really? stadiums. One of them being used, I think. I've actually got quite a few friends who are into rugby. Mm, same with me. <laughs> so June, what's another popular sport in England that uh, many people play? Uh, yep. Tennis. Correct. England's famous for its Wimbledon tournament. Yes. During, yes, during Wimbledon. the su- during the summer season, mm-hmm. around June, July. June. That's me. Hey. June. June. Yeah. Around around that season. <clears throat> They compete for the title. Golf? Yeah, uh, golf. And another British sport started in Scotland. Every Korean yeah. businessman plays golf. Plays golf. Fact for you there. <laughs> Write that down right in there. your notebook, lads. <clears throat> yeah, so golf started in Scotland. I'm pretty sure a lot of the viewers here have yep. uh, probably, really s- probably yeah. seen um, the, uh, the Robin Williams video about the Scots when they created... Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll put a link to that um, link of the video in the description for those of you who haven't seen it. But for those who have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I just asked you a question. I have been Do. I've been Jay. We're the Yellow Bros. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe below.